Hi, it's Dwyer. Friday, June 15th, 2018. Let's talk about a young lion. A showman who might be on the verge of breaking out. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me say this, I'm a Libra. I seem to be predisposed to like balance, right? I don't want things too cold. I don't want things too hot. You know, I don't like fighters who are too back foot. I don't like fighters who are too front foot, right? I like a certain kind of ebb and flow. Now, young lions, young guys in the sport of boxing with a lot of ability, want to show you who they are. They want to show you what they have. They want to show you why they're there. So when you watch a fighter early in his career, before he runs into a lot of world-class opposition, you'll notice a little bit extra swag you'll notice a personality that hasn't yet fit in the box that boxing puts you in in interviews. In other words, the guy can hold it together for a minute. He'll sound respectful of his opponent and stuff like that. But if the interviewer lingers a little bit too long, or if the room temperature gets a little heated, right? let's say the opponent's in the room, young guys will fall apart especially a lot of young guys who completely believe in themselves. And they'll let you know, the guy I'm fighting, he's a bum. He's not only lucky to fight me, he's even lucky to know of me. Right? Guys will start talking smack. Guys will believe their own press clippings. Now let's talk about a name you need to know. A young guy with an attitude, right? Maybe the attitude's a problem, maybe it's not. But he is the 2014 Commonwealth Games gold medalist. He's unbeaten as a professional. And he's so highly thought of that right now Victor Postal who fought Terence Crawford for the title, right? Who I online said was a live underdog, who's only had one fight since, a fight that he won. Victor Postal is going off at a five to one underdog. You heard right, five to one underdog against Josh Taylor. Right now, in boxing, we all know of Triple G. Right? This guy is Triple T, the Tartan Tornado. He's out of Scotland. His fight against Postal is in Scotland. Let me just say this. When you see this guy, you're going to see an extra bounce in his step. You're going to see an attitude that can't be contained. When he fights, what you're also going to see is a hell of a lot of talent. Let me just say this. You know, you've heard me say that Deontay Wilder's straight right hand is an A-plus punch. Right? You've heard me say that Jeff Horn's right cross to the temple, I'd give a B plus, right? Josh Taylor beat Jeff Horn in the amateurs. Josh Taylor of Southpaw throws a very high grade, I mean very high grade, counter left hook, right? It's so high grade, I can't even give it a grade right now because I'd like to see it against world-class competition. 
He's faced a former world champion, Miguel Vasquez, as a professional. He stopped him. When you look at the film, the talent is obvious. The hand speed leaps out at you. This guy's a combination puncher, right? What that means is he'll start a combination knowing full well that it's going to be the second or third punch in the combination that he's going to load up on. Right? The guy has a, dare I say it, Sugar Ray Leonard level of energy in the ring. I'm talking about young Leonard, when young Leonard himself had a lot of swagger. Right? Believe that he was simply the best. This guy, Josh Taylor, he's 27. Firmly believes he is the best at light welterweight. Let me say this, he's a stylist, right? He's an athlete, and he's an athlete on a big level. In other words, you know, rather than do leg feints and stuff like that, this guy at times will get up on his toes and he'll do full body feints. In other words, he'll pretend he's jumping in and he has the coordination, the body control to just jerk his body around until the opponent's out of position, then he leaps in with what he wants to throw. Right? He's a southpaw. You combine that with his hand speed and that counter left hook. And many opponents are simply overwhelmed. Right? I'm talking about a guy who only has 12 pro fights he has 11 knockouts, right? Now, let's just say I was researching this fight. I saw Victor Postal as a 5-1 to one underdog, and I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Then I looked at a bunch of uh, films. I have some uh, highlight video, for example, of this Josh Taylor guy in my favorites folder, and once I looked at Josh Taylor, I realized, oh no, I'm not touching the Victor Postal side of the play. This guy is simply too dangerous. Let me say this too. Given that Postal hit the canvas in his last two fights, right? He gets up against Terrence Crawford. He gets up, wins his last fight after hitting the deck in the fifth round, right? Let's just say I would not be surprised if this young guy with a lot of swag, with a lot of hand speed, with a lot of athleticism doesn't stop Victor Postal. In other words, you look at the film, you realize the guy is going to be fighting in his backyard. You realize that this personality type is the kind of guy who takes the pre-fight steer down seriously. Oh. Right? He's hurting opponents, then he's trying to look in their eyes. In other words, this guy doesn't want to just win the fight. He wants to beat you up. Right? This is the young lion who actually likes to fight. This dude on film looks dangerous. Understand, too, he's fighting a KG vet. Victor Postal beat Lucas Matisse. Victor Postal beat. Hank Lundy. Victor Postal fought and beat Demarcus Corley. Right? Postal's been around. Right? Postal gets off the canvas, continues on against Terrence Crawford. Right? Postal's fought the big names. The problem I have is, again, this is a young lion who might not have Postal's experience. Hell, he doesn't have Postal's experience. But the talent is just obvious on film. Right? I like Josh Taylor in the fight. I'm not sure if you can bet the fight. Because the odds are so wide. Obviously, the gamblers in Scotland know about this guy. And like me, they're wise enough not to bet against him. Right? Let me say this, though. 
if you're the complete risk taker and you want to just throw some throwaway money, in other words, you don't expect to see it again, some throwaway money on this fight, you might want to consider taking this young lion to beat Postal by KO. In other words, this guy starts to let his hands go. You cannot stay away from him in the ring because this guy, unbeaten fighter, hasn't yet been rung up enough, right? Hasn't tasted ammunition coming back at him enough to know how to tone it down. So he's going to come find you. You know, my... One of my criticisms of AJ, Anthony Joshua, is that he's too tentative, right? My criticism of Josh Taylor is that he's too aggressive. You're going to notice this guy, he's tall, he's lanky, he'll get in a crouch. He comes forward. Too many of his fights end up being shootouts. Right? This is the guy who wants to trade with you. Right? Now, he's the young guy who wants to trade because he hasn't really been hit hard yet. Right? The holes in his game are that <coughs> he looks vulnerable to an uppercut to me. In other words, he's all in. He comes in, he has both of his hands ready to go. He starts throwing combinations. But you'll notice his chin is in front of his feet, right? You'll also notice that since you know he's coming in, a Vladimir Klitschko type guy, I'm just talking about the style. Obviously, Klitschko is a heavyweight. I know that. And this guy's fighting at light welter. But a Vladimir Klitschko type guy would step forward. Bernard Hopkins type guy would step forward and clinch him. In other words, veterans would know how to slow the fight down. They would realize that this is the guy who wants to drive in the fast lane on the highway at all times. So a vet would put a speed limit on him, slow him down. When he charges in, clinch him. Right? Hit him with power shots. Slow him down. Right? This guy's so gifted on the combinations that he'll tuck body shots into the combinations. And when I talk about his left hook being high quality, folks, it's very heavy. Whether it hits you up top or down low. Let me say this too. There's an optical illusion going on with the kid. He's like, for the boxing historians, he's like Alexis Arguello or Sandy Sadler. In other words, the guy looks thin. So you're thinking to yourself, this thin guy couldn't hit this hard. And if you think that way, you're going to end up getting knocked out. So if you're looking for the next star in boxing, let me encourage you to take a look at this guy. As I said, he beat Jeff Horn in the amateurs. Right? I'm just telling you, I don't believe this guy knows how to fight a boring fight. In other words, this guy is kind of like Jamal Charlo. The Charlo brother who's a middleweight. Where you're watching a fight and you know it's just a matter of time before the bullets start flying. Right? This Josh Taylor guy impresses me quite a bit, right? I was here online. I took Victor Postal over Terrence Crawford. I was wrong, but what else is new, right? I took Victor Postal. I was expecting a more competitive fight. I believe Freddie Roach bet on Victor Postal. That's how certain the Victor Postal side of the argument was. Let's just say this. Terrence Crawford destroyed him. Let me say here. Postal's going off at huge odds, the kind of odds I like. You say five to one, oh, you have my attention. I'm not touching him because of this young lion. 
if I had to make a bet on this, it'd be dangerous. I take this young lion to beat Postal by KO. Right? Keep an eye on Josh Taylor. Definitely pay attention to this fight when it happens. Right? This is a guy who I feel just has a natural charisma. Now keep in mind, Many young guys start out their careers unbeaten. Many young guys look spectacular in their early fights because they're not fighting the kind of cagey veterans that a guy like Victor Postal represents. But Victor Postal won't be able to match this kid's hand speed. That much I guarantee you. And the best punch in this fight is going to be this kid's counter left hook. Right? That's a certainty. Also, the kid is going to force 34-year-old Victor Postal to fight him three minutes of every round, right? Some middle-aged guys aren't up to that physical challenge, right? This kid's going to be the better athlete in the ring than Victor Postal. In other words, the legs are young, they have spring, the combinations are effortless with this guy, right? Don't be fooled by his slender build. This guy has the far higher KO ratio than Victor Postal. I know some people are going to say, come on, Rich. Victor Postal's been fighting Lucas Matisse. This guy's been fighting neighbors, right? Okay, fine. I'm just telling you, this young kid is going to be the puncher in the fight. Keep an eye on Josh Taylor. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.